Australia's 2015 Ashes campaign formally got underway with a full day of training at the historic Merchant Taylors School at Northwood near Watford. The sprawling playing fields enabled all members of the squad to engage in centre wicket practice, net sessions and specialist drills. The battle for test places among the fast bowlers hotted up, with captain Michael Clark saying warm-up matches prior to next month's first test might help decide the final lineup. I think they'll be really important for us as a group, um, not just to get a hit out, but for guys to push for, for selection. Touch wood, at the moment we've got everyone fit and healthy. Um, you guys would have watched a bit of that net session as well, so they're all bowling pretty well at the moment. Among those to impress the skipper during the session was Mitchell Johnson, hero of Australia's home ashes whitewash 18 months ago. I know he's full of confidence. I don't think it matters who he plays at the moment. Um, he's at the top of his game. The only absentee from the session was all-rounder Mitchell Marsh, who was confined to the team's London hotel with a stomach bug. The mind games have also begun with Clark laughing off some pointed observations from former England spinner Graham Swan that the Ashes challengers should not fear Steve Smith or Nathan Lyon. Yeah. Uh, I reckon Swan is a beauty. I've always liked him. I love playing cricket against him. Um, yeah, I'm sure he's probably just trying to get under the skin of a, a few of the players. But the skipper was also keen to rebut suggestions by his ex-Australia teammate Jason Gillespie that the tourists' reliance on senior players made them something of a dad's army. Jason's entitled to his opinion. Join the queue. There's a long list of people that have criticised this team, that's for sure, so we might just add Dizzy to that queue of people we continue to prove wrong. England can also expect to see a more reserved, less inflammatory David Warner, who has revealed he's looking to tone down his verbal on-field aggression. And if day one of their nine-week Ashes campaign is any guide, the Australians might well be on track to winning some new fans as well as the game's famous urn. You know, we had a few of the young boys bowling to us today and they got a few wickets, which is not a good sign for us, but good sign for English cricket's future. The only place to stay up to date with Australia's tour of the British Isles is on cricket.com.au.